What's going on, everyone? My name is Joseph Reynolds, and today joining me is Mr. Main Event himself, Marcel Gome, ahead of Bellator 293. How are you feeling for this fight? I feel great. I feel ready. I train a lot. So I'm ready for the victory. Ready for the victory. Yeah, and as yeah, well, your yeah, Bellator well, win so far has been very special. It's been great to see so far. But what has that been like what for you to be able to do this promotion in such a short space of time as well? Dice que, ¿cómo sientes vos entrando a esta promoción y con victorias y todas? Sí, fala en portugués y yo te lo puedo transmitir. Eu me sinto bem, é o resultado de um, de um trabalho que vem sendo feito a, ao longo aí da minha vida. Uhum. Então, eu me sinto muito bem e feliz por tudo que está acontecendo. Uhum. Yeah, he said he feels great. Um, he's had a great training camp. Um, he, he loves fighting for Bellator. And uh, he's really looking forward to going into fight week. Yeah, and going yeah, into this fight with a win here, what is it that you would like to have next if you could pick what happens? Entendiste? Ok, dice, si, si ganas esta semana, ¿qué que, que quieres ser? ¿Qué quieres hacer? Te puede ser bruto. Bueno, yo creo que después de esta victoria, voy a dar un paso en el cinturón, voy a estar muy próximo, entonces es muy cedo para hablar porque yo no he sido vencer la lucha, pero voy a estar bien próximo del título. Yeah, definitely. Um, after victory next week, um, he's, he's hoping that's going to, you know, solidify him as a, a definite contender for the heavyweight championship. Yeah, and taking a look at that heavyweight division and the people that have held that belt, how would it mean to sort of win a Bellator championship? What does it mean to you to have a cinturón in Bellator? How does it mean? The cinturón, if you get a cinturón, it will be the realization of a dream. That's why I fight and that's why I train every day to be a champion. That's my objective of life. Yeah, it's definitely the plan. That's definitely his dream is to be world champion. That's why he trains every day, um, you know, two, three times a day. And um, that's the only thing he sees when he closes his eyes, that championship. Yeah, so I've taken a look at the people that you're training with and the trainer I've never been shot to. So I've seen things from looking at your social media, you better have when you are at the training camps. But what, has, what is training at American Top Team being like for yourself? Can you repeat that question? You yeah, kind of no cut problem. out. Yeah, no problem. In terms of taking a look at uh, the training partners that you have at American Top Team and what the training's been like there for yourself, how much does that help you when preparing for this fight? Okay. Uh, con todos los, um, los uh, partners que tiene ahí en American Top Team, ¿cómo te ayuda uh, preparando para esta lucha? Es una variedad de treino muy grande. Yo tengo. There's so many training partners at American Top Team that he works with on a daily basis. He's really taking, um, selecting training partners that emulate the style of um, his opponent coming up next week. And that's one of the advantages of training at American Top Team is you do have so many choices and so many top level, high level, world class training partners. Yeah, and when taking a look yeah, at this opponent as well, Daniel James, what do you start to feel that he brings to this fight? Uh, viendo tu opponent, que piensa que él va a va a demostrar ahí en la aula. He is a striker. He has a good boxing. He is very hard. He's a he's a great striker. Um, he's got good boxing, and uh, I've been studying a couple of his fights. Yeah, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a striking war. Yeah, and as well now, and as well in the now, heavyweight division, each heavyweight, heavyweight seems to bring something new that we haven't seen before, but what do you feel it is that separates you to all the heavyweight fighters? Uh, so you didn't repeat that question one more time? Yeah. 
With each heavyweight, it seems that they're bringing something new to the table. What do you feel as though you do different to other heavyweights? Okay. Como es tu estilo diferente como otros heavyweights? Qual é a diferença, meu estilo? Yeah. Eu sou muito agressivo. Mm -hmm. Sempre vou para cima. Eu tenho um bom strike e um bom jiu-jitsu também. Yeah, I'm, I'm much more aggressive than anybody in that division right now. I'm bringing a, a, a different level of striking and definitely a different level of jiu-jitsu to the game. Yeah, and it now I yeah, believe it's four now, straight I'll finishes for you. So is that something that you're looking to bring into this fight as well? Como como te tienes que crecer de esa victoria from finishes? Quiero quiero terminar el evento también. No, quiero knockout. Yeah, he's a definitely. It's uh, he's got a knockout coming up on March 31st. 100%. And then with a win here as well, you mentioned yourself, it does put you in contention with the title, but what are the goals for 2023 as what are you looking to achieve? Okay. ¿Qué, eh, ¿Qué son tus planes para, para este año uh, 23 para concluir? No, quiero tener una buena victoria el día 31 de marzo. Mm -hmm. y... uh, first things first, you know, we're not secure that victory March 31st. And I want to, I want to lament my spot as a number one contender before the end of the year. A hundred percent. And then the final thing for myself is, what is it that the fans can expect to see from you in this fight? If they somehow haven't seen you fight before. Okay. Bom, eu tenho ganhado experiência nesse tempo, mas uma característica minha é a agressividade. Yeah, I'm, you know, every day I gain more and more experience. With more experience comes more intensity. And um, they're going to see, like, a, a whole new level of aggression. There we go. That is everything from myself. From myself. I appreciate both I times, Jay. Let's take a chance at the sponsors. Feel free to go ahead. Feel free to go ahead. Yeah, he just wants to thank everybody for being a part of this camp. Uh, yeah, there's just way too many people to name. Uh, he just wants to thank everybody for their support. No problem. I appreciate both your time. Tune into Bellator tonight, free next weekend. But thank you very much. All right. All right, my man. We'll see you there. Bye bye.